All right, hi guys, and welcome to this, the last page on the Simple Dragon Sculpt in ZBrush for Maya users. This is the surfacing. So we'll start off with UVs here. And as you can see, ZBrush has a very sweet little auto UV button. And you got these very simple tools for controlling where your, roughly where your seams go. And you can use this to really roughly, very, very quickly actually unwrap your sculpts without having to go to any other programs. However, in this guy, we do have a little bit of a crazy mouth. So I decided to actually unwrap him properly and do that in Maya, which is really quite easy. Check out the Maya UV pages for that. And then it's just a matter of transferring the mesh back into ZBrush using GoZ and transferring those sculpt details across. So then it's onto polypaint. So polypaint is not painting on the UVs on the object, it's painting on each vertice of the mesh. And so you need these really, really high meshes. If you look up the top active points, we've got 3 million points here active and that's so that we can be painting on the mesh. So once we've got UVs, we can actually save out our masks. Without UVs, you can't be saving the masks. And each time that you Zed remesh, you're going to be losing the UVs. And here we can also make poly groups as well. So these come in really handy when we start painting. You can use the masks for painting as well as sculpting. So they're sort of double bonus for us here. And it's just a matter of coming in here. And what we're going to do is paint a little bit of a stylized style where we're sort of painting in the shadows and the highlights. It's a good style, works well for these sorts of models. So then we can paint up the eye, which is quite fun. Some nice little techniques here using a few of the little ZBrush tricks that are out there on the web. So just using some alphas there on our brushes and lots of masking again. So this masking and the alphas and all these little tips we can sculpt as well while we're painting. It's really quite malleable ZBrush and because we don't have UVs, you can really like, you can really bash out these colors quite quickly if you don't need to get them back into another package like Maya. So more masking for the dots and the scales on his back. And we'll have a brief introduction here into uh, layers. Layers are really cool. Uh, in a lot of other programs, they're a little bit limited in ZBrush. They've got a lot of problems, but we can use them for basic things. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So you can do a little bit of lighting in ZBrush too with the BPR render, and you can change the lights and do turntables, just basic ones. But you know, we really want to be rendering this out in Maya in a proper package that has the modern light setups and Maya is perfect for this. So it's a matter of just exporting the textures now, which we can do so we can convert to UVs nice and easily and then send those back into Maya. There's a few problems when we get back into Maya in that the Gozi doesn't quite get some of the color correction stuff right. So it's just a few notes there in order to adjust the colors so they sit correctly. And finally, we have this section on displacement. So displacement can be a real headache of a thing, but I've put all the settings into one little UI section there that we can export them nice and easily. And then back in Maya, we've even got buttons for both Arnold, Renderman and Redshift so that you can instantly create the displacement map all correctly to the correct settings back in Maya. So it's really easy, really cool to get your displacement back into Maya, rendering it out nicely. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy.